All right, so welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. It's a channel that talks about narcissism and everything in between. If I'm talking too slow during this broadcast, I want you to go ahead and speed up the video. I got a question from uh, a viewer earlier about how to uh, deal with people not acknowledging you, basically, like uh, not giving you eye contact. And this is somebody who I guess is coming from a stance of being ostracized. So I wanted to talk about uh, eye contact avoidance and uh, a thing I call the acknowledgement game. All right. So basically people just don't have to acknowledge you. And not only that, they don't have to acknowledge any good qualities about you. They don't have to acknowledge anything that you say that's funny. They don't have to acknowledge your intelligence. And they regular regularly ignore that, you know, if if it suits them, if it gives them power. The acknowledgement game normally starts like this. First, somebody determine makes a judgment about another person and they just basically start being very acting like they're super uncomfortable around that person. And a part of this is acting. Sometimes people can come up with a conclusion about you and be genuinely uh, uncomfortable with you. And that that's what it is. But a lot of times people play that up so that they can send messages off to other people. And, you know, if you're talking to somebody and all of a sudden they get really quiet or, you know, they don't talk, they start getting really still and it's only around a, a particular person. They might start looking at that person out the corner of their eyes and then looking away and, and stuff like that. Right. Just acting uncomfortable. And it's it's noticeably noticeably uncomfortable around a particular person is a sign to other people. It's not just this person makes me so uncomfortable because you got to look at it from this point of view. If, if you're trying to get along with per people and you're treating people correctly, you're not mistreating people or you're, you're trying your best to, to treat them the way they're supposed to be treated. And I'm talking about from like the creator's eyes, you know, if you're, if you're genuinely trying to do that, which a lot of people who are being ostracized are because, you know, it starts making you pick thing, you pick yourself apart, trying to figure out why, you know, why it's happening. And then you don't want to, you, you basically start looking at all your, your bad qualities more and you're trying to fix them so that you can fit in. So usually you're coming from a, a, a decent mindset when you're dealing with other people that makes it worse. Like, how can you really be uncomfortable with somebody to that extent where it's, I, I, you just can't even pretend to not be uncomfortable. It's so noticeable to everybody. If that person is working on themselves and trying to treat everybody well, you know? So my, my point is, is that it's a sign that people give. And from there, they work to, to start, basically trying to uh, teach other people and doing it that particular movement in front of other people. Like if there's a new person and if there's other people that they know they have influence over, they try to do it in a way that teaches them to do it as well. And they want to do it non-verbally as much as possible so that it's harder to um pinpoint what they're doing is if they're actually saying something if you hear something if something can be repeated then you know they can get caught but since they're just they do it just with their body language it's hard to say something about it so it's just them being very sneaky um so once that happens then the next step is just not acknowledging anything of not acknowledging that person they teach everybody in the environment not to acknowledge that this one particular person and people like if somebody's talking to you, you'll notice that the other people in the room will turn away from you, you know, and, and even that person. So as they're that person's talking, they, they can feel that, you know, they can they'll they'll look and notice that everybody turned away from me, you know, after I talked to this person. So the idea is, again, it's, it's not to acknowledge people. Not to acknowledge, but people understand that. Okay, not to acknowledge, but it's it's the the deeper part of it is 
not acknowledging anything positive about that person. They only acknowledge if you do something negative, any negative quality. If you say something that sounds dumb or something like that, they'll acknowledge that, you know, or they'll acknowledge if you throw a tantrum or if you, you know, if you start trying to fight people because you're being, you know, you're emotional about it, they'll acknowledge you then. But if you say something intelligent, if you, if you are friendly, if you, work on your your body language so that you're not being singled out they they won't acknowledge that and they do it as a as a team effort in a way and that's that's the point of the acknowledgement game it's to um make the person feel visible i mean invisible and uh eventually what ends up happening is you start doing bad stuff just so that because that, that's the only way they'll acknowledge you. Like if you want to start a fight with them or something like that, if you start getting aggressive, that's the only time they'll acknowledge you. So next thing you know, you get to the point where you're constantly, you're not even behaving in your the way that you normally would behave. Like you're not even being yourself anymore because now you're you're just you're doing things for some attention, you know, and that's a dangerous slope that you have to resist going into. I mean, even small stuff like uh, if if you're you if you're a very beautiful woman and you're under attack in this way, they won't acknowledge that you're beautiful. You know, they'll have you doing stuff that the guys are doing, or just flat out want to acknowledge your your uh, femininity in any kind of way. And it's the same thing like if somebody else is talking to you, and let's say that they give you a compliment on your beauty. All the other people who are part of the game turn away, you know, will turn away from you and them and kind of start looking at each other, you know, in a way like that person did something wrong. And then that person who said that will notice that and then they'll they'll question like, oh, what did I say? And then pick it up. OK, so I'm not supposed to acknowledge that she's beautiful, you know, <laughs> and it, it normally doesn't work with women, but. That's just an example of they can they can do that with any little anything, you know, all the way down to just flat out flat out not acknowledging that you're talking to them, you know, walk by like they can't hear you as you're you're speaking to them, you know, um, but it, it's it's a, it's a way of abusing you. It's the same thing with, like I said, to bring it to a close, bring it back. Same thing as somebody not looking at you when you walk into a room or something like that. It's just, it's a game that they're playing and just know that it's the acknowledgement game at the end of the day, that kind of, uh, when you, once you understand that it, it takes a lot of power away from that game, you know, so hopefully that helps. Peace.